Hi there Gemini, it's Maria from the Tarot Shop and this is your reading for July. Um, I'm going to take a couple of tarot cards and also I've got a new deck of oracle cards this month that I want to use. Um, if you haven't been here before then this is just a quick reading. I take the cards, a few of the cards to give you a message, see if there's a message from them for the month ahead. Um, if it doesn't resonate with you, please remember this is a collective message. So if it doesn't resonate, then also check out your rising and or your moon signs. You may find that there's something there that resonates with you a little better. Okay, so let's get down to it. Gemini for the month of July. I'm using here the Angels of Healing and Hope. So it's a brand new deck. It feels as if we need a little bit of this gentle energy in our lives right now. Ooh, there we go. Freedom. Okay, so you have the card of freedom. Let's see what that relates to. Okay, this is for Gemini for the month of July. What would you like Gemini to know for the month of July? This is the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot. Let's have a look. What would you like Gemini to know? For the month, I'm just going until it feels time to stop. So just bear with me. We've got quite a lot going on. I can feel it. Okay, so let's have a go. Right. One, two. I feel there is more than one question you've got. So hopefully you can get an answer here. Let's pop those to one side. Oh, Gemini. You're taking on too much, you know, it's like you really are. You've taken a burden on. Okay, so we begin the month with a nine of wands, which tells me that you've taken on a little bit. Now, wands are about the things we do. So, for example, work. And we've we've got so much on us that actually it, it feels as if you you could really do with a holiday. So hopefully you're going to get a holiday in July. Um, it's you've taken on a little bit too much. And you're feeling a little bit beaten up, a bit wounded by it because, you know, as you can see, he's got a bandage on you, a bit defensive. You're like, oh, goodness me, whatever next. It's just about activities. You've got an awful lot more. And maybe this is why the freedom card's coming in, because actually you need to release a little bit of this activity. If you can delegate anything at all, then that would be wonderful. Um, you have the... Ace of Swords immediately after. So it does tell me that actually, maybe it could be because as a result of this reading, that would be nice to know, wouldn't it? The cards have said to you, you're taking on too much. You have got clarity immediately. After. So you're going to have an idea how to get out of this situation. I've said to you that it might be a good idea to enlist help, but I doubt that you'll do that. <laughs> so I think that this is actually, you're going to have um, a thought about how you can lighten your load a new way you're going to come up with an idea as to how you can lighten your load. Um, now, the middle of the month, you've got the four of uh, the four of pentacles, which tells me that you are holding on to your finances. You're trying to save. And you have the five of cups, which so you're saving. Just bear with me a second. I'm trying to because they sort of they're um they're trying to give you a message here. The five of court five of cups is an upset. So you can get landed with a bill or something like that suddenly. So what you need to do, if possible, and what the cards might be suggesting to you to do, is to make sure you keep a little bit of money aside because it looks as if um, there's a bit of upset here mid-month. It followed the cups, the, the pentacles. So it's as if you, you're you upset because you've suddenly got to pay for something and you're like, well, that doesn't feel fair at all. Do you know what it can be? Even something as silly as a speeding fine. but Best to be prepared for it. So they're saying that that might come and upset the apple cart a little bit in the middle of the month. Um, it's not it's not a major thing. You see, these are minor cards. It's just business as usual. So it's just an, it might even just be actually to say to you, right, okay, this is the, 
you know, the evidence, if you like, really, that actually this happens to say, right, okay, this next part is really important. Um, too much, new idea, save your pennies. There's an upsetting financial thing here. Get lumped with a bill or something. Um, but from a deeper perspective, so that's just business as usual. From a deeper perspective, towards the end of the month, this is an interesting um very interesting card. You've got the Page of Cups and the Page of Cups brings in divine messages or a messenger from the divine that tells you, right, okay, I've got an idea as to how we can make you happier. You start to have a little bit of a, an awareness of what it is that you really do want. Um, that allows you to get that step of your freedom back. So this is about being bogged down, isn't it? Can you see that, this part here? You're bogged down. You're fed up with doing it all yourself as well. I can tell you that. That's what this is as well. So it feels as if it's all on your shoulders and life's just not a little bit fair. It's like you're doing it all. And actually, you want freedom. You need freedom. And at the end of the month, we've got the high priestess coming into your cards. Now, when she comes in, she brings um, synchronicities, coincidences, divine intervention. And it's triggered by an idea as to how you can be happy. So the universe is going to come in and bring a message and go, have you thought about this? It can be through a person, through an event, through a course, through something that comes in. And at the end of the life, at the end of the life, at the end of the month, sorry, changes your life for the better. When major cards come in, it's a significant change. And this is leading you on to inner knowledge about how to be happy. It's a very deep month. Mm -hmm. Once you've got past all of that, sorry about that, I don't know if you heard the dog then. Um, it's a, a message that will allow you to move forward and actually materialize all of this. Now, divine intervention does actually... Um, it's beyond your control. Events are about to come in and take over because you are doing too much and you deserve to be free. And actually, I was going to say this to you actually before I forget. The 3rd of July is the Capricorn in full, full moon in Capricorn. It's a really good idea. So when full moons come in, we highlight things in our areas of our life. They bring them to the surface. It's a really good time to spend some time thinking about what it is that you want from life. That might be where your idea comes in. What is it that you want? Where are you going? Good, good idea to write some goals down and actually allow the universe, time for trust and faith, allow the universe to come in and answer, give you some serious questions, serious answers, and actually to move you forward in your life. This is a really exciting part of the month. It's very subtle. <laughs> You've got to actually watch out for your signs and things like that as well. So that's your reading for July. And um, I hope that you've enjoyed it. And uh, as I said, if it doesn't resonate at the moment, then please also check out your moon and or rising. And thank you very much for your time. Bye bye.